Hello loves, thank you for joining me and today I'm going into a crop circles actually real and explaining to you a bit more about this amazing powerful piece that I created. Circles actually real? Well, it's funny, it's a very funny one because you know, we've actually, as a, a race, we've put out a signal to the cosmos asking whether there is life out there or not. And we've received hundreds and hundreds of these amazing crop circles around the world, mainly in England but around the world in different places with different amazing geometries and yet people are still undecided about whether they're real or not and my answer to you would to be is to be you know go and find one yourself and then tell me if it's real or not you know because the energy when you go and see one is immense literally is literally out of this world you know so um it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty funny so crop circles are geometries are amazing geometries which are formed in um wheat fields um around the world and so i went to see one and this was what i i was like i have to draw it i got so inspired and just so yeah, so high vibe as I've got to draw it and um, so this is my interpretation of the geometry um, and we went a couple years ago that 2014 and it was in, in England in Dorset which we found this one and it was literally so big like such a big scale to do this geometry on is like it's just mind blowing literally it's like wow and for me like I love geometry so much and I would be like how do I do this like and the media the media tries to put it off as yeah it's just uh, two two drunk guys in a field at night fumbling around doing these incredible geometry geometric pieces geometric pieces it's like what are you crazy like anyone who believes that is just like so in the, the illusion literally because it's like one the crops are not cut the crops are bent so they're still alive they haven't been cut like like you would if you were doing like a lawnmower or something like that two these guys are meant to be doing it at night like in like what not not that long like in an hour or two like and that is like impossible like to, for any t t human to do that in such a short amount of time right now it's like i'm sure we could do it in the future but right now it's like there's not a lot of people that could do that in that short amount of time i mean maybe in a couple of days yeah okay but some of the geometry is just like it's really out there and I get really inspired by it so yeah hence why I had to draw um, what I was in and um, yeah and um, plus like the farmers that have actually had um, crops um, crop circles in their field have said that they get actually a bigger yield of crop after the crop circle happens so they have more they have more from they get more from their crop after which is uh just shows how powerful this cosmic geometric energy is and i think you know so we've sent out this signal asking for if there's any life out there and we've received all of these crop circles and yet people still um find it hard to believe um but yeah, go and see one, I'd say, just go go and see one and, and know for yourself. Um, so when I was in this, it was just like, it was like heaven, the energy was just like full power, full power. Um, and you feel it, you know, 
You really do. Well, I think it depends how sensitive you are to it, but I know I did, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so this is this piece is called Kundalini Merkaba Love Vibration Activation. And um, so I did this after uh, I was in the crop circle, and it inspired me. I mean, I, I this was my interpretation of the geometry, basically. So we've got the Merkaba one. Now the Merkaba is a six-pointed star, and it's a light, a, a symbol for our light body. Um, so it's been used a lot by the Jewish religion and um, it's also a symbol for victory and strength. So we've got the downward triangle is the feminine energy and the upward triangle is the masculine energy. And then in the middle we've got a cube here, if you can see it, there's a cube and um, the cube is a symbol of earth it's a symbol of the four directions it's a symbol of matter and the material plane um, and then in the middle we've got these circles going inwards um, or going outwards should I say expanding out and so the circle is a symbol for wholeness and oneness and um, original perfection and yeah it's, it's a very powerful symbol and then we've got these um, these lines coming out of the star of the Merkaba. So it's like, which is like the Kundalini energy coming out of the star. And so the Kundalini energy is a um, powerful primordial cosmic energy that everyone has. Uh, apparently it's latent in the base of our spine in the root chakra so um, until it's awakened it stays latent in the root chakra and then it rises up like a serpent going upwards up up the chakras and when that happens it's like an awakening a kundalini awakening of um, and then it actually helps us to raise our consciousness in a um, and our awareness in a in a in a in a bigger way. So I've also added the uh, the rainbow, the the spectrum of colours because I need to put the rainbow somewhere. So it's like it's emanating outwards. And so yeah, it's a really powerful piece. Um, so also I went to it was funny. I went to the planetarium yesterday with my mum and my sister in London and it's really really interesting stuff and you see all these amazing images of space and all these stars they're everywhere everywhere you can look there's so many stars and it's all of the the nebulas and it's like really mind-blowing so I would suggest you go to your nearest planetarium and check it out because it's really really mind-blowing stuff um, and and you know, I went with my mum and my sister, and they're still quite, they're still quite in the in the sort of system on trap of materialism, and they're like, you know, they're not into all this cosmic stuff yet. So, you know, I'm just sort of talking about is there other life out there, and you know, it's good to sort of have them conversations, and um, really funny actually, because um, it really does open your mind when you think there are other beings out there apart from us and the way the sort of media has sort of separated us from the the you know from the cosmos from from other life forms and to think to make us think we know we're we're by ourselves we're alone um you know it's not it's not too much of a nice thought so to actually think wow there there are other beings out there and um they are they have got a higher intelligence than us um, to come and put amazing geometry on our field um, in our field of you know is is incredible and I think the reason they're doing it you know is not um, 
is to actually raise our vibration and to, for us to actually be able to have a look at this incredible geometry that maybe we haven't seen before and be like, wow, you know, that, that's, that's next level. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, it all comes down to, you know, go to a crop circle, go and see for yourself, you know, don't, don't just take it, oh, because the media says, oh, yeah, it's, it's all, it's all uh, just some guys in a field that are drunk and, you know, don't just take it for that. You've got, you've got to go, go, and, go and experience it yourself because until you do that, you don't, you don't fully know. Um, so, yeah, I would suggest if, if, you, if you're not sure whether they're real or not and, um, you know, go, go have a look for yourself, go, go feel the energy because it's really, it's out of this world, it's next level. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my video on crop circles, just a few thoughts and um, I hope you enjoy this beautiful piece and have a beautiful day. Namaste, loves. Feel the power of love Feel the power of love